Hi, I'm going to very, very quickly show you the cold water hack. Now, in the summer, I like to do this in the sea, bit of wild swimming in the sea, but as it gets colder, it's not as appealing. And I have a shower at home. So I use the cold water icy blast at the end of the shower to get the same opportunity to practice my breath. And it's all about extending the exhale. So if you have not tried this cold water shower technique yet, or if you're struggling with it, then here is the easy way to do it. So you're having a lovely shower, get to the end of the lovely warm shower, switch that handle across to the cold water. And as soon as that cold water starts coming out, you're going to feel your breath starting to change. Your sympathetic nervous system is going to start to kick in. It's really going to impact your breath, but you have to hold control of your breathing, right? It's all about the extended exhales. So breathing in through your nose and then slowly extending the, the breath out. So breathe out long, slow breath and keep control of that breath. So don't allow your breath to go, right? Keep control of it. And while you're doing that, and this is the key, don't just stand there feeling absolutely freezing, trying to control your breath. While you're trying to control your breath, slowly in through the nose, slowly extended exhales out through the mouth. At the same time, start rubbing the cold water around your hand, around your arms, your face, down your head, your legs. Keep doing it, keep moving, keep moving. Extending the exhales in through the nose, out through the mouth, keep control of the breath. And then you'll get to the point like really quickly within the first minute where suddenly it's like, oh, this is not so bad. This actually feels quite good. Your hair starts to feel cleaner, it's squeaky. And then when you turn the water off, you get this amazing zing as your skin actually just, just feels so fresh and it's tingly it's amazing and it's really easy so it's all about extending the exhale keep control of that you're engaging that vagus nerve it's a really good opportunity to practice your breath work and your vagus your vagal tone in this cold water uh, environment and touch right so give your brain lots of sensory information as you're taking legs, arms, chest, back, hair, face, everything, keep going. And that is the way to nail the cold water shower hack.